This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, hopefully you are okay. Today, we are heading to, is it Chertsey? I think it's pronounced Chertsey on the A320. Going to uh, head towards Wookin. We're going to a place called Five Oaks Farm. Um, it's a place I've been to before. It was last time. It was quite difficult to find because, wow, well, I say difficult. I found it, but um, the paperwork. It's not on Google, basically, and the paperwork gives you a postcode and a street address, and that's it. So I was like, which one is it? Where is it? But um, a bit of research. I found it. It's some sort of storage yard for another company. I'm not can't remember what it was called now. Um, but we know exactly where it is, which is good. Yesterday, um, we were supposed to get it loaded at Sharwell, BMI Redlands, and um, unfortunately we got caught in traffic on the M1, so we didn't actually get there until five o'clock. Quite rightfully so, they told me to come back in the morning. Um, so we got loaded this morning, and that's what we got on right now. We're fully loaded with, uh, with like roofing tiles and things like that. We're about two and a half miles, just over, away from our delivery point in Jersey. And I thought I shall start the video now. I don't actually know what I'm doing afterwards. No idea. If I had to guess, I'd probably say over to H&H, because we're sort of around that area. Um, we'll have to see on that one. But yeah, for now, we need to go and get this delivered. I have phoned them back up since. Like I said, I phoned them up yesterday to find out uh, if they could take it like first thing this morning hoping that I would have been loaded yesterday <laughs> it's just as well I did get caught in traffic because they wouldn't have taken it first thing this morning they had one lorry already booked in at half past seven and another one booked in at half past eight um, so they would not have taken it first thing they asked me to, they actually specifically asked me not to turn up until after 9am uh, and the reason being is because there's a school right opposite the gate kids are back at school now and um, it gets chock a block with cars apparently. So I was I was advised, even if I did get loaded yesterday, don't come until after nine o'clock. <laughs> um, we are going to be there at twenty-five to eleven, so somewhat after nine a.m. <laughs> so we should be good. Should be absolutely fine. Now the reason we're getting there at twenty-five to eleven is, like I said, I didn't get loaded until this morning. So I arrived there this morning at half six and then obviously by the time I left and whatnot and did all our checks and come here and you know takes takes a few hours out of the day doesn't it so that's uh, that's where we are so we're a couple of miles away five minutes let's head on there okay we're gonna go left at this roundabout all clear from ahead all clear We've actually done a delivery down here uh, to a building site as well. I think it was the hospital. I think there's a hospital on the left. And there were, I think they were like green and white boards or something. And um, I've done a delivery there not too long ago. So I've been up and down this road before. They need some new fencing, don't they? Bloody hell. My fencing don't look great. <laughs> um, and also, we've got to take a right-hand turn in a little while and if I remember correctly it was a weight limited road um, I don't I don't think it even had except for access this was the building site I delivered to on the left and uh, yeah that was a fun day I had to reverse all the way back out <laughs> yeah this right that we're going to take in half a mile I believe it's a weight limited road I think it was pretty tight getting in I think the back wheel of the trailer might have scraped the kerb as well. I can't remember exactly. We'll have a look. Is that motorbike still in the road? A little bit, not much. Just about off the road, I would say. Okie dokie, right, right hand turn is coming up. It's starting to get right. I'm sure there's a weight limit or something. Yeah, you can see there's an island in the road. A little bit of a naughty right-hand turn. Yeah, oh, unsuitable for goods vehicles, that's what it says. 
unsuitable for goods vehicles. But this is where we've got to deliver. We've got to go on the pavement to get round. I remember now. There we go, we missed the trailer ones. We had to go on the pavement on the cab side. And then literally, it's just up here on the left. But on the right hand side, there's a school. These cars were not parked here last time. So I only assume that that's because they're teachers or something. Uh, it looks like the gate's shut as well. It's not a good start. Give him a quick toot and see if someone... If I have to open the gate, I will, but I don't like opening thick uh, gates without permission. Okay, so here's the load. I've decided I'm not going to film too much inside this place because it's not, like, publicly accessible. Like, members of the public can't actually come in here. So, uh, and there's CCTV everywhere. So I'm, uh, I'm only going to get footage of me and, and the truck, basically nothing about surrounding surrounding things around me whatever they may be right corner boards are off straps are off they will put away so just walking back to the truck now put this back in the side locker and then uh we're going to drive into position to be offloaded lovely right we are tipped we are now got to head to tilbury docks and uh, this video is now also going to be a two-parter, I think. We've got a bit of an epic drive ahead of us. We've got to go to Tilbury Docks now, and then all the way up to, like, North North Wales. Um, is it Alwich? Alwich, I think it was. Do a delivery there, and then go back to Chester. And then I would imagine from Chester it would be um, Liverpool, I would have thought. To go down to Staines. We've got a bit of a journey ahead of us, a lot of miles to cover. Although that last bit is um that's a complete guess. Today is Thursday as well. Um so we've got a lot of miles to cover so we can get home <laughs> on Friday. Right, I just had to open the gate myself. So hopefully someone can close it behind me. Seat belt on, I can't see anything coming from the left. Okay, all clear. In auto mode, thank you. Okay, yeah, so, right, we're tipped. So, as I was saying, yards, you can shut up. <laughs> Can't stand it when the Tom Tom talks. I don't know why people have to have it on. Um, so, yeah, we've got to go to Tilbury Docks now and get loaded with Pavestone. Uh, it's two drops one to Chester, one to Ulwich. Chester's closest. But I've been told to go to um, Ulwich first. Well, I was said it was told Ulwich, then back to Chester, is how it was worded. So I take that as go to Ulwich and then go back to Chester, to Tip and Chester. So that's what we're going to do. We've got a, a lot, and I mean a lot, of driving to cover. We're going to be driving until quite late tonight, I think. And, um, yeah, we ideally need to get as far up as we can so we've got plenty of drive time tomorrow because I do believe that we'll be making the deliveries tomorrow, both deliveries, then go get loaded, and then, well, I would imagine he wants it delivered in stains, but I can't see it happening, but we'll see. That's even if that's what we're doing. I don't even know if that's what we're doing yet. All I know is that we've got to get, get as far as we can, uh, as quickly as we can, 
um, in terms of driving hours so that we can uh, basically we've got more spare hours left on Friday because I want to come home Friday <laughs> uh, yeah definitely want to come I ran out of hours Friday just gone uh, um, can't say where <laughs> but I've run out of hours and I had to be rescued and brought back home so uh, let's try not uh, and get that done for a second Friday in a row anyway I'm going to crack on I'll see you probably once we're loaded in Tilbury Docks see you in a bit okay you join me Tilbury Docks, where we are getting loaded with uh, with the papers down here. See, that can come off. Um, I'll just put the destination to the sat now. It's going to take six and a half hours to get there. It's a long way. Okay, there we go. Fully strapped up, ready to go. We just need to put some ad blue in because we're running low. Running low on ad blue, so I'm just going to put 20 liters in. Uh, I've got another one of them if I need it, but hopefully that'll do us. So let's fill her up. It's, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do without a funnel. So we'll just kind of put a aim it in the hole. There we go. It's going in. This looks dodgy, mind you. There we go, it's going in the hole. Put this filter back in. I'll take that out because it means you can get it in quicker. There we go. Put you back on. Lock you up. Brilliant. Cool. And then we keep hold of this because uh, come Friday when we go back to the yard, we refill it back up again. along with its sister. Let's go put it back. So I've got another one in there if I need it, but it should be okay. If not, like I said, I've got another one. Normally I do put both in and it lasts me, but I want to see if just one will last. Anyway, from here, it is uh, about six and a half hours driving, give or take. So I've got to stop somewhere on the way out for a break. Um, I'll probably see you there when we're having that break. I need to think about where we're parking up tonight as well. If we can get all the way up, we will. I need to get a move on because driving time and working time is going to be of the essence today. So, see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me. By the way, I can see on the Tom, um, on the Tom Tom, I can see on the GoPro that it looks a lot lighter than it actually is. Like, it's pretty dark out. Everyone's got lights on. <laughs> it's pretty dark. Um, we've been driving now for just over three hours. Uh, since you last saw me at Tilbury Docks. Those three hours, plus what we did before that, means we are very close to four and a half hours driving. So we need to pull over and have a break. Plenty of laybys, but I want to pop into, there's a, there's a shell garage with a bit of parking in there. So I'm gonna pop into that shell garage. I can then go and get some food from inside the garage. And then I got food for tonight then, basically. It doesn't matter where I park, because I'm probably gonna be parked in a layby, I would have thought. So we need to park. Hopefully, if there's space in this shell garage. If not, then we'll have to go out and park in a lay-by. No biggie. I've got a drink. I don't really need anything to eat, to be honest with you. So that would be a massive issue, to be honest. But also, uh, we could do get some fuel. So once we actually have our 45-minute break, once that's done, hopefully, we can get some fuel afterwards. Um, now, the time is... By the time we actually get in there and park up, it's going to be gone a quarter to five now that's good because rush hour traffic is is going to be happening very soon and i really don't want to be out in that rush hour traffic and that is because driving time is of essence um i'm on by the time i park up i'm going to be on just under seven and a half hours driving 
which means I've got two and a half left on a 10 hour drive. So I can only, once I finish my break and fill up with fuel, I can only drive for two and a half hours. That's it. Now, how far I get in those two and a half hours depends on whether I'm doing 56 miles an hour or 26 miles an hour. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to be in rush hour traffic. The faster I can go, the further I can get. The, the only thing that is set in stone is how much time I will have. Um, so that is um, basically the plan. We need to go get fuel and have a break, but in the other order. <laughs> oh, also, if if I can't park up here and there is nowhere to park, then I will just get fuel straight away and then crack on and then park in a lay-by because we've got a little bit of spare time left now. Um, it's, the, it's the total driving time we have to be concerned about working time i started at 6 25 this morning which means i can work until 9 25 um i don't think working time is actually going to be an issue to be honest with you um if we had the enough driving time right now we can get to my delivery where i'm actually delivering to for 20 past eight the sat nav says um so if you include your 45 minute break you know you're talking just after nine o'clock um we're not going to get that far no way because of because of the driving time so basically we just need to get a break in hopefully the rush hour traffic will die down it's starting to build up i can see a lot of traffic on the sat nav building up um get fuel and then we basically just go from there so we're going to be taking the a55 i believe the road is uh, i think there's quite a few a uh, quite a few laybys i believe on the a55 but i'm hoping to get to conwy i think it's pronounced conwy delivered there loads of times there's a lay by just before conway and also if i can get to conway there's like a, a small industrial estate and i'm hoping that's quiet enough but we'll see but that's on the very limit of how far we can get i don't think we're going to go any further than that we might actually end up having to park up a bit earlier than conway on the a55 um it just depends on um on timing it really does now i can see the lorry park it looks quite busy don't think there's going to be any space in there so if that's the case like i said we'll just get fuel and then crack on and park in a lay-by somewhere uh, or even the next services but i want to get fuel now because that should then do me for the rest of tomorrow as well it's taken a while to get out of this roundabout it's very busy on the right hand side go on a few of you can go now go on go 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 Go, 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 go. I might be able to get up to the line if these cars hurry up. No, this white one. Yeah, yep, go, 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 go. Trying to time it, trying to time it. Lovely. Right. Can we park up for a 45 minute break? That is the question. it looks uh, it looks quite busy I don't think there's any room oh I think that, yeah there's room there's room I think oh is it I don't know actually that might not be room <laughs> I was like yeah there's room no I don't think there is Ah, oh, no, there's no room. Okay, not to worry. We'll, um... We'll have to get some fuel then and then just go from there. I think that's going to be the best bet. Let's get some fuel. And, um... Oh, I'm parked a bit over to the left. And then we'll crack on and go and get a break somewhere else. I'm just going to reverse back now, just so I can get a bit tighter to the pump. Just so that there's enough room on my left side if another lorry wanted to come. That'll do. Right, let's go and put some fuel in. And then uh, at least I get some food as well while I'm here. And then we can we crack on and go park up somewhere else and have a break. See you in a bit. Right, just filled it with fuel. Um, so now we need to stop for a break somewhere. 
So, yes, yeah, there's a lay-by just coming up, literally off the roundabout, straight onto the A50. That's what we're on at the moment. It said parking in half a mile, so I'm hoping to see something. Yeah, I see a blue sign now. Whether it's empty or not is a different matter. But we do need to stop for half an hour break. I can't see if it's empty. No, that is that is not empty, that is full. I don't want to block the lay-by. I've got a reputation for that already. So um, yeah, we just carry on now, head up to the next one. We basically just keep doing this. I know you can't see me, but I'm gonna keep on doing this now until I can find somewhere to park. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably see you in a little while, see you in a bit. So we've only been on the road five minutes since, um, since we filled out a fuel. There is an industrial estate on the right-hand side. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm hoping I can go down there. I think I've been down there before. I think you, go, you can go all the way in, spin around at a roundabout and come back out again. And I'm hoping it'll be quiet. Obviously, lay-bys like this, on, on the, like a dual carriageway like this, it's gonna be an absolute pain to get back out of because of the traffic. So ideally, I'm just gonna have a quick look. If, the, if there's nowhere to park, then obviously I'll jump back on here again, but it's only gonna cost me two minutes to have a look. And I think, I do think it's gonna be a suitable place because it's gonna be a lot quieter. And I can join back onto the A50 from this road. Yeah. I'm sure I've been down here before. I don't know whether this would be a place that you could park up permanently or not, I don't know, but... Dove Valley Park. I swear I've been here before, it rings a bell. So, I'm going to go and have a look. If I park up, there's already, yeah, I already see one truck, look, parked up. Does that truck just flash me? Don't know who that is, but they just flash me. I put, his, I put his hand up, say hello. Um, yeah, so there's no lines here, so I can park it up anywhere here. It'd be a nice quieter road. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Yeah, there's trucks parked there, there's trucks parked there. I only need to have a 45 minute break, so I'm not staying all night. I whack my hazards on. It's quite wide here as well. I think you'd get a car and a lorry past me at the same time. I won't park opposite the bus stop. In case a bus does stop there. But even so, you still get a car up. So I think you could actually genuinely park up here for the night. I don't know whether it'd be a good idea because you've got JCB RDC right there by the looks of it. All right, put on brake. So it could be quite noisy. I don't know. But we're having our break here, and then um, we can resume. So I want to go two hours and nineteen minutes. I've got a pin. I've got a pinpoint where I'm hoping to park up. It's two hours and nineteen minutes away. How much drive time we've got left? Two uh, two hours and twenty four. So we've got five minutes in it. So like I said, I think it's going to be a case that. We just get as far as we can go, but I probably won't be parking up at Conway. I think we'll be parking up somewhere on the way down on the lay-by. I'm hoping those lay-bys are going to be a bit quieter than these lay-bys. We're in a very busy area, and that A55 going up North Wales is going to be hopefully a lot quieter. So I think, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of lay-bys. Wales are really good with lay-bys, and um, I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to park on one of them over there. And then, in the morning, I reckon we'll be about an hour and a half away for our delivery so we'll have nine hours off so we park up about i don't know so we park up about half past eight it should be done by then i would have thought half past eight nine hours off would put it to nine ten eleven twelve one two three four half past five an hour and a half say two hours half past six half past seven so we can get there first thing i've already checked they open up at half seven so yeah hopefully we'll be good minimum rest and we can get there on time earlier in the morning. So anyway, let's have a break. Uh, 
Okay, my brake's now finished. So I am now gonna crack on. Uh, like I said, but hopefully we're gonna get as far as Conwy. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so like I said, we've got two hours and 23 minutes remaining. That's all we can do. We can have a nine hour rest and we've got to be finished. So this is the daily time, daily drive time and the um, working time that we've got remaining. So we've got two hours and 23 minutes uh, left of driving, three hours and 40 minutes left work of working time. So whichever one of those finishes first, we have to be parked up. It's going to be the driving, two hours, 23. We are currently two hours and 16 minutes away from where I want to park up. This is where we are right now. And I want to go up here and I want to park up somewhere here. I've got uh, a lay-by saved here, a lay-by saved there, and then, uh, hang on, is that the lay-by? No, that's the industrial estate I was, I was thinking of parking at. So I've got a lay-by, industrial estate. One of them, I'm hoping we can get to, depends entirely on traffic. Before I set off, I am just gonna set my phone uh, so we've got the traffic updates. Right, we are now connected, so hopefully that updates itself very soon. So as you can see, we're three hours, 24 minutes away from our delivery point up here. We aren't gonna get there in one go. If we could, then we would definitely uh, get there in one go, but we won't. Um, so I'm hoping to park just over an hour away. Like if we, if we get to this first place, this first pin, if we can get there in time, then we'll be uh, just over an hour away to the delivery point in the morning, which for me is, um, is adequate. Right, just had to re-log in. Uh, so the TomTom -tom traffic is now on. Just waiting for it to update. The current time is 10 to six. So I'm hoping we've beaten most of the traffic, uh, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. Just waiting for this to update. Okay, nothing's set up, nothing's come up yet. So maybe there's not much traffic, but 2.22 is what it's saying now. And 2.23 is what we got. So yeah, let's get a move on. All we can do is just get as far as we can. So like I said, driving time is what the main concern is at the moment, not the working time. Uh, so if anyone's wondering why not, I just get on with it. I'm trying to not go yet. I'm trying to avoid the traffic. I don't want to get caught in traffic so I can get as far as I can. Like I said, working time isn't an issue, it's driving time. Um, I can work until like on nine o'clock tonight and sat down saying we'd be parked up around about eight o'clock. So, um, right, let's get a move on anyway. I'll, uh, I'll see you once we park up, see you in a bit. Right, we are not too far away from a lay-by. I'm gonna flash this lorry in. Um, we've got 28 minutes left of driving time. That's on a 10 hour drive. So we're on 9.32 currently. We do not have a lot of time left. So we are now, from this moment on, actively looking at lay-bys to park in. I've got two or three places, well, I've got three places lined up. <laughs> Hopefully we can park in one of them. <laughs> We're going to try the first one. It's a lay-by in a mile's time. Um, that's the first one we're going to check. Okay, here is the sign, parking sign, half a mile. I'm going to start slowing down. We've got warning signs up here, flashing. I'm going to start indicating left. Can we get in? No, there's no space. Plus there looks to be a wide load. Ah, do you know what? There was no space there, never mind. It's dark, you can't see. There was one space there. Okay, we're gonna crack onto the next one then and see if we can park at the next one. 15 minutes away. Right, if we can't park up in this lay-by coming up now, in half a mile's time, we might be in a bit of trouble. Start indicating. So I'm not entirely sure where the entrance is. Okay, here's the entrance. Okay, have we found a space? J 
you know what? There's a do, there's a diner here, Route 55 Diner. If I get up on the path a bit, on the left, vehicles will definitely be able to overtake me. On the right. Ha ha! We have got a parking space. Hang on, what's that say? Please park in four hours, no return within one hour. It's a lay-by. Guess I can park in here all night. Well, I've got to park up. We're on, <laughs> we're on nine hours and 50 minutes of driving. I haven't got any other time, so... This is home for the night. Uh, there's a sign there. I don't know if you can see. Hang on. There's a sign there that says four hours parking. So, yeah. Maybe we're not allowed to park here for more than four hours, but I am because, like I said, we're on, as you can see, we're on nine hours, 51 minutes of driving we're on. Um, so if I go down like this, it means we've only got nine minutes of driving and the next available place I've got saved is 10 minutes away, so we're not going to make that. So um, that was this, this place here. Look, like I said, we were hoping to get to Conway. We're not far away. We're only up the road. Um, but yeah, never mind. We're an hour away from our delivery in the morning, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, a little bit concerned about that parking sign, but I'm, I would have, I guess that's during the day. I guess, I don't know, whatever. It is, it is what it is. We're, we're here now, so. I've, uh, I sort of timed, timed it. This is where I was aiming to get to, one of the places, so. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm pretty tired, I'll be honest with you. Um, so I've just done a 14 hour shift pretty much, 10 hours drive. Um, and then, yeah, so tomorrow we've got to deliver in Al Alnwich. Let's go into Who's Grey, yeah, Who's Grey in Al Alnwich is where it's going. Then we've got to go back up towards Chester. We're actually going to Winsford and deliver in the rest of the pallets. I don't know what we're doing after that. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Like I said, it's going to be like a two-parter. So I am going to carry on recording tomorrow. So you'll see those two deliveries being made, plus whatever else we've got planned for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow being Friday. So yeah, if you want to keep an eye on what's happening with the rest of this journey, then you want to watch the next video, which comes out. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.